My name is Paquita Davis Friday. I'm an associate professor in the Stan Ross Department of Accountancy and the executive director of graduate programs in the Zicklin School of Business. My research focuses on how the stock market values information in financial statements, and I look at a couple of specific settings, including pensions and other post-retirement benefits and some international financial reporting standards. I primarily teach financial reporting to graduate students, and what I do is try to relate to the fact that when they are working as managers, they're going to have to read other companies' financial statements. They're going to have to understand the biases and incentives of those who've prepared those financial statements so that when they're consuming the information and then when they're responsible for actually preparing it themselves, they're aware of how to convey the information so that the public uses it efficiently and so that they consume it efficiently when they're looking at others' financial statements. The thing that I appreciate most about Baruch MBA students is that you can have what you want at any stage in your career or your education. I have found that even those who are CPAs and are back to get an MBA or those who've worked in finance, they are open to helping their classmates who are just starting out and they're open to the information that I teach in the course. I don't think any course is necessarily relevant and exciting to students unless the instructor brings it to them. And fortunately, there are lots of things happening in the world to be able to do that. Whether it's an accounting firm that's experiencing some issues with the SEC or PCAOB, or a firm that has to respond to the fact that currency has been devalued in another country, and how will this impact their financial reporting. Almost any given day, there's an article in the Financial Times or the Wall Street Journal that we can relate to the experience of financial reporting and operations. And of course, some of the largest companies in the country make it very easy for us when they restructure, like Google, and they have to create separate sets of financial statements. And we talk about, well, what does this mean for the things that we've been learning? When we started this semester, it was one company. By the end, it'll be several companies. How will that impact the financial reporting and the information that people get from them? All of the large accounting firms recruit at Zicklin, as well as lots of mid-sized and specialized firms. Our students have an opportunity not only to go to public accounting firms, they can go into corporate accounting. They can go to the government and work in forensic accounting. And we try to let them know about all of these opportunities. And these employers come here because they know that they're going to be able to see two to three hundred qualified applicants on any one visit. We have a pretty robust a practice of Japanese firms, for example, that come to recruit our students because they find that, unlike other schools, they have accounting majors who speak Japanese and they can get several of them in one place. We have industry experts in auditing, in tax, in financial reporting. We have people who have not only the um, academic credentials, but also the institutional credentials. And I think that really distinguishes us from other departments of accountancy, as well as other business schools in general. So the person in front of the classroom has often worked in the industry and definitely has the academic experience to deliver to them some complicated and technical topics in the way that they can absorb it. And that's true across the board from the most fundamental accounting course to the most complicated ones that we teach here.